Hi guys, it's Sam and I am parked outside of work. I thought I would try to do another day in the life of a New York City paraprofessional, which is what I do for a living. And unfortunately right now I have post nasal drip, so if I sound really stuffy, that's why. And now it's going on almost a week so hopefully it will clear up but today I decided to do this because my teacher she's at a meeting at a different at the main building we are a satellite location which means we are not uh, we're not in the school we are about 10 minutes away from the main building because we have alcohol in the space and it is uh, seven 40 something I'm gonna go in so that I just have a little time to myself because we are having breakfast in our room we have two classrooms in our building and we switch back and forth this weekend is in our classroom and yeah I have my makeup on I am exhausted I haven't been getting great sleep I'm getting enough sleep but not long enough so Hopefully the day won't be too bad. It's usually not. It goes by really fast, especially if we work with little kids. It just you're just always on it. So um, I am gonna go inside very soon. First thing I do is put down my stuff, and then I change my shoes because I, those are my driving shoes. I love them. They're both Ultra Boost, but they just got so torn and worn up that I leave this. Leave this, these pairs of shoes here, the newer ones. Here is our morning message. And then this is our schedule. So this is about 8.20 to 8.45, then 8.45 to 9.05, then we have 9.05 to 9.50 music. Then we go to the playground at um, 9, no, 10 to 10.40. Okay. Then we have choice time from what 10 50 to 11 no sorry 11 to like 10, 11 40 then we read a story then lunch is from like 12 to 12 30 then we read another story rest time is like from 12 45 to 1 40 ish and then mini choice is 1 45 to 2 15 and then we say goodbye at 2 25 here is my outfit i have Old Navy t-shirt, three people jeans, Ultra Boost sneakers, and my uh, hoodie from J. Crew. And here is my breakfast, yogurt, strawberry, and my coffee that I'm going to refill in a minute. Sometimes I'm too lazy to wash my cup the day before, so I'm doing that now. This is a cup that somebody gave my grandmother, but since it's not dishwasher safe and we don't have a dishwasher here, I brought it with me. Yes, I'm in the bathroom and I am about to use it because I won't have time for a few hours to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Okay. No, when we cross the street, I'll hold your hand, okay? Okay, it is time for us to go to the park. choice time right now and it is 11 a.m.
Look, I'm going to And you cost any help, but the house did not fall down, right? How could it? It's made of concrete. You can't blow down a concrete house. Marigolds, one wall was made of daffodils, and one was pink roses, and one of cherry. Okay, okay, listen for directions. If you are wearing gray, put your book away. He said he mad at me for uniforms. If you're wearing a unicorn, put your I book away. I don't need to hear it. You just need to follow the directions. If you're wearing pink, put your book away. If you're wearing, if you're wearing stripes, put your book away. If you're wearing camouflage, put your book away. If you have a book and your name is starts with an F Y or B, put your book away. If you're wearing a fabulous pink outfit, put your book away. That's crazy. Hi guys, it's Sam. I am home now. My day is done at work. I just wanted to kind of conclude what I did for the rest of the afternoon. After my lunch, I go back into the classroom. It's almost time to say goodbye. I help clean up mini choice time. I wake up a few kids that are still napping from rest time. Our rule is if the kids are sleeping during rest time, we let them sleep for as long as possible. So it's kind of time for them to get up when I come in because they're going to go. And then... We say goodbye at 2.25. I help kids who go to after school. We have a lot of them. I help kids who go to after school uh, get ready, packed up, get all their stuff on. And and then once everyone leaves, parents, babysitters, uh, grandparents, and the kids, I do some household stuff or chores around the classroom. I wipe the tables down. I um, And I do wiping the tables at least three times a day tables get dirty and then I put up the chairs so the floors could be clean and then I uh, put dishes away that I've washed after lunch things like that that I I like to do that stuff before I leave so I don't have to worry about it the next morning sometimes I am lazy and if I forgot to wash like a cup or something I'll leave it until the next day but I do wash it and then I sat around for a little bit just because it was like around 2.40, 2.45. It was a little too early to go home. But once it hit like 2.50, I was like, okay, not doing anything. I'm going to go home early just because I feel a little run down. The longer, as the day went on, the stuffiness got so much worse. So I t said to my teacher as I was leaving, I'm going to go to sleep when I get home. I'm not going to sleep, but I am going to try to relax and when I get home, I like to sit in silence. I know it's going to sound so weird, but there's just so many, like, things going on. And, you don't. Know, I, as a para, um, right now, I've been with pre-K for about three. This is my fourth year with pre-K. There is no downtime, really, for a para. I get to go to the bathroom. I'm very lucky. It's not like I never get to go to the bathroom. Uh, but... I don't get a real break until my lunch. So I'm with the kids from 8.20 to uh, 1.15. The teachers in the morning get breaks or preps uh, where another specialty teacher comes in. And so they use that time, obviously, to plan for the plan other things for the classroom. But I don't get a break until then. And I'm not sure if that's like all paras. Um, but you don't get like a 15 minute break in the morning or in the afternoon. You are working straight through, especially with pre-K. And that's something that I wanted to touch on before I end this video. Um, I just think you, two things. One, if you are thinking about it being becoming a para, uh, whatever age it is, you have to like children somewhat. I have seen too many people who they don't like kids at all and it's miserable for them 
and it's just the kids feel it they the teacher feels it it's just not a good situation and I do I really love being a para and I love working in pre-k if you are thinking about doing pre-k though and this is the other thing if you're thinking about doing pre-k you have to be you have to want to be in pre-k pre-k is very active you don't get that much downtime and um not a lot of people want to do it in my school nobody wants to be in pre-k because it is just go 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 um 18 children feels like it could be double that so um it's hard but it's very rewarding and i love pre-k i couldn't imagine being anywhere else for the next several years. I'm not sure if I'm 70 and still doing this, I would want to be in pre-K, but it keeps you active and the day goes by super quickly. Um, I don't know if I could do older grades. I love the younger grades, so that's probably where my preference would be. Um, But yeah, I just wanted to mention those couple of things and I hope you guys enjoyed what I could film. Again, it's really hard to film throughout the day. I just felt kind of weird about it. So I won't be doing this that often. But when I get to do it, I will try to include more information and things like that. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.